This video is sponsored by SellCashier.com. SellCashier pays top dollar for your used iPhone. Get a quote, ship your phone, and get paid. It's that simple. Check out more details at the end of this video. What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from GeeksterLabs.com. How are you guys doing today? Well, the product I want to show you is something that was sent to me free for review from Blue Microphone, and today we got the Mikey Digital which is basically a $99 stereo condenser mic for newer iOS devices with lightning connectors like iPhone 5, the iPhone 5S, 5C, also uh, the iPod Touch 5th uh, generation, and also the iPad mini, iPad 4th generation, and the iPad Air. So all the audio that you're listening to right now in this review is actually being recorded on the Mikey Digital on my iPhone 5S in GarageBand, okay, using the GarageBand app. Now GarageBand is actually one of the few apps that support CD quality audio while using the Mikey Digital, which is 44 kilohertz by 16-bit uh, sample rates, okay? Um, there's other apps as well, but you, and you can check on their website, and there's actually a list of different apps that you can use to get the best quality of audio. But right now, I'm using GarageBand, and none of this audio is being touched or, or, or tweaked or anything. I'm taking it straight from my phone and putting it right into this video. Just so you guys have an example of what the audio quality sounds like as far as the uh, when I'm in auto, in the auto setting on this device. We'll talk about the different settings a little bit later, but right now, I'm set in auto right now, okay? So enough about that. Let's discuss what's included with the Mikey. So first off, we have the Mikey Digital itself, the little microphone. Next we have the instruction manual. Also included is a soft carrying pouch. And lastly we have a quarter inch to 3.5 adapter that can be used with uh, instruments like guitars or other input devices and we'll discuss that in, in a bit. So let's talk about the overall construction of this device and let's do a quick tour as well. So the Mikey Digital is constructed mostly of plastic, okay? It does have a slightly classic look to it that's similar to uh, Blue Microphone's other products. But when it comes to durability and construction, I don't think it would hold up very well if it was dropped repeatedly since it's mostly made of plastic. So that's something to think about if you have Butterfingers. As far as the inputs and the ports go, uh, on the bottom we have the lightning connector for iOS devices and this is how you, you plug into your device. On the side, we have a mini USB, which is perfect for keeping your iOS devices charged during long recordings. So keep in mind, there's no USB that's included with this, and uh, the Mikey itself doesn't need to be charged or powered up because it's, it's drawing power directly from your iOS device. But there is a mini USB on there in case you're doing some really long recordings. It's, it's going to really drain your iPhone or your iPad battery very quickly, so you would want to keep this plugged in into a USB to keep it charged up the whole time. And on top of the device, we have a 1 8 inch stereo input for instruments or an external microphone or a line level inputs as well. And so this cannot be used as an audio monitor or an output for, for checking your levels with headphones. Although it may look like that, this is only an input. And uh, also, just to keep in mind too as well, you cannot use this input and the microphone at the same time. So like if you wanted to plug in your guitar to record some guitar and also sing into the mic, that's not going to work. It's only going to work one or the other. On the back of the device, we have a toggle switch for the gain settings. And on the front, we have the LED lights, which correspond with that setting. So we have, on the front, we have the high gain, which is for loud recordings, like at a concert or a sporting event. Then we have, at the other end, we have the low gain, which is for soft recordings, like a lecture or recording distant noises. And then the middle, we have auto, which is good for recording voices close up, like an interview, or like my voice right now, which is, which is on auto. So I'm recording this whole review right now on the auto setting. And I'll, I'll give you some examples of audio recording using the other settings in just a bit. And the LED lights on the front also act as an audio clipping indicator, so they flash red whenever it's peaking. And lastly, we have the 230 degree swiveling head, which allows you to position it in the perfect angle to get the best recording. And it, uh, it does click into a few good positions, as you can see here. You can even place your device flat on the table and, and microphone up towards you. Uh, and keep in mind, too, that the microphone will only record or pick up audio from the front. And you can tell which, one, which part is the front because it has the blue microphone logo on it. But you can also flip it around since the lightning connector works both ways. So if you're recording video in front of you, you can remove the mic, turn it around, plug it back in with, into the lightning connector, and now you're recording audio in front of you. I did notice with my Mikey that there was some play in the straight position, which could introduce some jiggling sounds on your recording if you're if you're uh, not holding your device steady in your hand, which can be a problem if you're if you're walking around and vlogging. I think for some people that might be using their microphone would have that in mind. So you'd have to be very careful if you snap it into one of the ang angled positions slightly, it holds a tighter position. But when it is straight, there is a little bit of jiggling going on. So now let's check out some audio samples that's been recorded with this microphone. 
Okay, guys, so I'm recording using the microphone right now. It's in the uh, the the high gain setting, so it's in the most sensitive setting. This is probably what you would use to record some quieter sounding music. So I'm gonna do some finger plucking on the, the acoustic guitar here, just so you guys can kind of hear the the audio quality for that. So this is something that you would use for quieter recording, okay? Or like a lecture, something that's further away from the microphone. So I'm gonna switch, turn it off and switch it now, and now I'm gonna be recording in the high gain, or the auto actually, and I'm gonna do some strumming with the, with the pick so it'll be a little bit louder and you guys can see what it sounds like. So that's on the loud setting or the the, the auto setting, so kind of you could, probably could tell how it's adjusting the audio levels, so it's not going to peak while it's recording the acoustic, the acoustic guitar. Uh, let's go over and switch into the garage. I'm going to play some loud drums for you in the uh, the high gain setting. You can guys can hear what it sounds like when it's in a, a loud setting. So let's go to the garage now. So what do you guys think? I definitely feel that the audio quality coming from the mic and digital sounds way better than the onboard microphone on your iPad or your iPhone. However, you have to keep in mind that uh, this is definitely a really cool product, but it really depends on your situation and how you plan on using it. Now keep in mind, this is by no means a pro product, okay? And, and for $99, I wouldn't expect it to be that way. One of the main features that would, that's missing from it to be a pro product is a line in. So you can monitor your audio, like with your headphones. Uh, the way you have to do it now is you have to record your audio and you can listen to it playback on your iPhone plug, with your headphones plugged into your iPhone. If the audio sounds good, then you're like, okay, let's continue to record that way. But while you're recording live, there's no way to tell what it's picking up and if it's hitting, if it's making any noise or anything in the background or things like that. So there's no way of really telling. So it's, but it's definitely not meant to be a, a, a pro product. But if you're using this in vlogs, so you can have better audio quality, if you're using this in, in, in school to record lectures, um, or if you're using it to record some live bands or maybe even some of your own jam sessions, I think this is a really good product and it, it could be useful to you. Um, keep in mind that it does eat up quite a bit of battery life while using it, so I would recommend using the uh, the mini USB cord uh, port that's on the on the, the mic digital. And I would probably either plug it into like a laptop or if you have an external battery, you can plug it into that as well because it is going to suck up a lot of battery life depending on how long your recordings go. But uh, overall, guys, it's a really cool product, and it, and this, it definitely has certain situations that it, it lends itself to. And uh, but I wouldn't ever, I wouldn't say it was a pro product, so you probably wouldn't be using this to record really great videos or movies or things like that. So that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, this retails for ninety nine dollars. You can check it out at uh, Blue Microphones website. I'll put links in the description so you guys can check it out yourself. If you have any questions about this review or anything is that any of the things I've discussed in this, please post those down below. I read each and every comment on all of my videos. And I promise I'll get back to you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stay up to date with all of my content on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. And as always, guys, make sure you stop by GeeksterLabs.com for the latest in tech news and video reviews. And I'll see you in the next video review. See you guys. SellCashier.com offers you good money for your used iPhone. And it's very easy. Here's how it works. Visit SellCashier.com, select your phone's model, carrier, storage size, and condition, 
and instantly receive a quote for your phone. After that, choose your shipping option, which includes having a prepaid label and box sent to you. Once Cell Cashier receives your package and examines your phone to assess its condition, you'll receive payment via PayPal or check. And that's it. Super simple and much safer than dealing with those weirdos on Craigslist. SillCashier.com. Simple, fast, secure.